This is a stock trails chassis and today we're going to show you how to remove the shopping basket underneath in case you want to wash it or in case there are uh, small rips that you want to sew or something. How to remove it and to put it back on. So first off you can just flip this flat forward so that you can easily get to the screws. If you're going to need one of these little star head screwdrivers, I believe it's a 20 millimeter. And just start removing these screws. There are six of them in the back and two slightly different ones in the front. But all of them will use the same screwdriver head. The unscrewing process is uh, pretty straightforward, but when we put it back together, there are a few little tips and tricks. Okay, in the front there are two screws, there and there, we're going to pull them out. And then there is this plastic rib which locks the uh, shopping basket to the front end and you want to grab kind of under the plastic rib and push up because there are pegs that hold this in place into the front end. I'll show you. You see, there's two screws there and there. The rest of it is peg points that slot downwards to hold it tightly into the front end. You can remove this plastic rib just by pulling it out as such. Yeah, then you can wash or repair the shopping basket or replace it if you've ordered a new one. When you're putting this back together, you want to start with the back end. I find it's easier to do one side and then the other and to start with the lowest screw. And you're not going to want to screw it all the way in at first. Almost is okay or halfway, but not all the way because there is a metal piece inside here. And if you screw it tightly in right away, it's harder to move this and get the other screws in the right position. And you'll find that the screw wants to be a bit above the hole at first. You have to push this metal thing down and kind of angle the screw in. And then you can use a screwdriver to angle it as straight in as possible. Otherwise it could strip the uh, hole, the, uh, the ribbing on the hole where you're trying to put the screw in. After all three are in somewhat, you can tighten them, screw them all the way back in. and then proceed to the other side. There, halfway in. top one you can just take all the way in and then go back and tighten the other ones. Okay. 
when you're reattaching the front end of the shopping basket, it helps to partially collapse the stroller because the shopping basket sits very tightly. And you don't want it so tight when you're first attaching it. You want to line up, I'll have to redo that afterwards, but you need to line up the plastic rib with the holes. And you'll notice that the ones where the screws go in, they want to slip out. Uh, but you can kind of adjust that as you screw them in individually. I'm usually not working on such a smooth surface as this table, so it doesn't uh, tend to slide back into place. get all of those pegs positioned properly and then you can push downwards get them to lock and even if the hole isn't lined up properly on the screw you can do that while you're screwing in so you can get your screw set up and then you can just pull down the fabric so that the hole lines up with where you need the screw to go in can refold out the stroller. If this is a new shopping basket that you put on, you'll notice that it's very tight. And um, the effect of this is going to be that it can be a little harder to pop these buttons. What you wanna do is use some, preferably silicon spray, otherwise WD-40, and spray in here on both sides to ease up the mechanism. And then leave the chassis fully extended for a while so that the fabric can stretch. And you'll find that the combination of allowing the fabric to stretch and working the mechanisms a little bit will get the folding uh, mechanism of the chassis to function properly again. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. If it has been helpful, uh, we'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe. We do these videos in our spare time and subscription to help us to continue making videos in the future.